Bueno, this video is about ingesting images. Ingesting is the process of copying your images from your memory card, from your camera, onto your computer. And what Wino attempts to do is make this an efficient process. The first step is to pick some images. So for example, I will pick this one. And then uh, we'll move forward through the images and we'll pick that one. And we'll pick that one. And at this point, we'll do our first ingest. And I'll press Q to initiate the ingest process. It brings up the ingest dialog. And here we have a section where Winnow will automatically generate a folder structure for you. And you t get to tell it how you want that folder to be created. So first thing you do is you pick a root folder, which in this case is my pictures folder. And then there's a template here which is going to create another folder with the uh, year, month, and day. And we're going to add a description at the end of it. For this case, I'll just call it underscore test. And this shows you the path that's going to be created and the folder ultimately that the images are going to be uh, copied into. And down here it's showing that we've currently selected three images and so they're cleverly going to be called one, two, and three based on this naming convention uh, template. And for example, you can go into these templates and you can either edit the template or you can create a new one if you so desire. You create the templates by <coughs> dragging tokens from the token list into the uh, token area. For example, this is the uh, year token, or if we dragged YY in, we would have just got, for example, 19 for 2019. This dash here will, is just an arbitrary character that's being added to separate the year from the month. And down here, it's showing you what this would look like depending on a, an example of dates. So, and then we have a day, an underscore character, and then a sequence numbers. And you can see down here that you have a number of different sequence lengths you can pick. So, if you're a really prolific for, uh, photographer, you might want to pick a really big um, sequence. So, once you've uh, created a token string, which we already have here, then that's what gets used here, and that's what creates the the name here. Now, you can start the uh, numbering from any one you want. We have one here. And the other thing that Winner will do is if there's already images in the uh, folder that we've picked here, then it will look find the biggest numbered image, and it, then it'll start one larger than that. And then you have some other options on the bottom. You can also back up the images to a second location, and that's identified uh, here. And what you do is here we have we've picked a root folder of pictures backups, <clears throat> but more likely you'd have it on a secondary drive. And I'm currently using the same template structure as I was using in the primary location. You can also tell Wino to open the ingest folder in Wino after you've completed the ingest. And if you're combining raw and, and JPEGs in the uh, folder that, or that you're ingesting from, this will copy the JPEG files as well as the raw files. And finally, you can automatically eject the drive after you finished ingesting. So we'll click ingest. Okay, it's ingested the three files. It's brought us back to where we were, and now it's painted the files that we've ingested blue, so you can tell that those files have already been ingested. And if we take a quick look at the uh, uh, that folder that was created, here's the three files that got created. And Winnow will also create these XMP files. And what they do is they hold some additional metadata. So what you can do is in, uh, in, in Winnow, uh, we'll use uh, another image as an example. And uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll pick 
um, another one and say we, we decide we want to ingest this one and that we have given it a color code of red and we've assigned it the value uh, um, a, a rating of three then if I go uh, Q to ingest again. Now it already knows where we want to go because it picks where we were last. Plus, it's seen that we have already three images there. So now it's going to item four. You can see it's calling it item four. So we will, and what it'll do when we ingest that is that um, what in, in the XMP file here, it will now also include that rating and the color code red. And then if you open this, for example, in Lightroom, then you'll be able to see those colors. So that's kind of handy so that when you're going through here, if you see a file that you particularly wanted to, uh, to do something within Lightroom immediately, you could highlight those files before continuing. So what you can then do is you just progress through your file and you can uh, make more picks. You, you could just go through and make all the picks at once, but I really recommend you take an incremental approach because if something goes sideways, you really uh, can save yourself a lot of grief by not having to go back and start the pick process over again and, ag uh, and hopefully not not more than once. So then when, you, when you've uh, finished the process of doing all the ingesting for the, uh, for example, we'll, we'll pick uh, this one here and we'll go and we are adding another three files here and we, let's say that we want to ingest the op after we do this. Uh, so now what it's done is it's gone to the folder that we created in pictures and it's showing the images that we've ingested. So that's a, a brief trip through ingesting. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you are enjoying Winnow. Bye for now.